In this video, I will demonstrate how you can edit parametric products and also how to create your own 2D symbols. Parametric products are those that you can resize them. For example, this fluorescent lamp here. These two are the same product. Let's just see the, the, the size of this product. I will make use of the function measure between two points. With a diagonal line, we see here the X and Y, uh, 0 0.625 meters and Y, 0 0.2 meters, okay? I will select one of these products, select the product database. Since these are the, the same products, I have to create a copy. So I will select and click copy. This copy is created at the end of the list. Right mouse click and change. At the end of this dialog, we see the parameters dimension y, x, and, uh, x, y, and z. I will change the dimension x to 1.25. As you can see, the preview picture is now different. If we click OK, we see the size is different. It's also applied in 3D. Okay. Now, let me show you how you can create your own 2D symbol. To do so, I will make use of a socket. So I will access the socket product database and select this flush mounted socket single. Instead of this symbol, socket symbol, I would like to use an Australian symbol. To create my own 2D symbol, I will make use of the working mode geometric shapes. And first, I will just insert an arc. I will just model it or draw it using as reference this pre-existing symbol. Okay? Now I want to insert a line at the top. And then I will select these two geometries and I will copy and just rotate it. By selecting these two objects, I can make use of a free reference point. I will select this midpoint at the bottom and insert here. I do not need this arc anymore, so I'll remove it. And I will insert a line from the bottom of the arc to this line here. I don't need this line anymore, so I'll remove it. And I will remove this socket. Now I have to apply this geometries or this symbol to an existing product. First, I have to insert these geometries or the symbol in a so-called user directory. So I will select this complete geometry and select Ctrl C. Then I have to access the project manager. This user directory is hidden by default. We must click on the more button and then we see here the user dir, okay? As we can see, it's, uh, I don't have anything, it's empty. I must create a code. In a code blank, I will type the code for this, pro, uh, for this symbol, which is OW socket or Australian socket. And then I click in the open button. Now I have to paste this product. Here it is. This cross uh, determines or the, the insertion of the of the product in, in the model or the symbol in the model. So I want to insert this at the insertion here, okay, at the zero. Now let's see in 3D if it's all at the same height. As you can see, there is a geometry not in a in a in a zero height as it should be. So it's in the Z coordinate 0 0.3 meters, I will insert as zero. Okay, now it's good. Let's go back to 2D. The, the, the important now is also uh, determines the layer and pen. I will select the geometries and I can access the product, that, uh, the properties. I will use the hotkey out enter in the tab attributes we can see it's already no active layer and no active pen. It means 
it will get the layer and pen of the product database that I will insert it. Okay, so that's okay. I will click OK to close it. Um, I will insert a small circle here and then I will with the arrow key, arrow key uh, down, I will insert at a distance of 0.2, uh, 0 0.02, sorry, two centimeters. I want to insert this circle to indicate where is the connection that I will insert. The connection for a cable can be, uh, can be inserted with this function electrical connection part text point EP that we find in a toolbar. So we click here and then we click where we'd like to insert this. Okay? You can see the, the coordinates are inserted automatically. You simply have to click OK. It's all good. We just have to save it and we can come back to the project. I don't need to use the geometries anymore. It's useless, so I will remove it. Now I will come back to the standard tools and I will access the socket product database. I don't want to influence this existing socket, so I will right mouse click and copy this instance. Again, this is at the end of the list. Right mouse click and change. I will uh, rename the description with Australian at the beginning and the manufacturer will be FF. I did it. The external symbol. This is the important point. Remember, I insert a code for this to this symbol. So I have to insert the same here. So I'll socket. And this is it. Just click OK and you will see the preview picture here. Let's click OK and see the result in the model. Here is the 2D symbol with the same color that all the other sockets have and with the same layer. Let's just see the layer name. Sockets. Okay? Let's see the 3D. The 3D is the same. It's not changed. And it's the same height. Now let's test the connection for the cable. I'll make use of this cable function. If I get closer here, you'll see there is a connection at the height as the socket has been inserted. 